We also have our moderator, Kalma Paljor, and I'd request Tanushri Hazarika, Festival Director, Brahmaputra Valley Film Festival, to kindly come forward and felicitate our very dear Papanda. Thank you so much. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Good afternoon. Yeah, it's not loud enough, yeah. Papun is here. I guess we'll uh, need a lot of energy with him, no? I'll try again. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Yeah, that's more like it. I don't have to introduce him. Uh, it's been a very interesting friendship that I've had with Papun. I've uh, known him for not very long time and the first time I met him was in Mumbai when we were caught in uh, unfortunate circumstances and Papon had to come and rescue us. So, so that's where we go back to and it's been an interesting friendship. So, no, I'm not talking about Uber or Ola or anything like that right now. So, I, it's a story you have to hear it. I guess not with so many cameras around but privately we can share. So, what do you think about the moment you see Papon? Come on guys, if this is excitement, I, I don't think you guys are excited. So, what do you feel when you see this man on stage? Okay, I guess that's what he's going to do. We have a few logistical problems, you know. I. Uh, wanted Papon to do what he does best, but we'll try to do that. But uh, would immediately like to start with some questions about uh, the first question, of course, the easy one, which the uh, press always asks and which celebrities hate. Aapko kaisa lada hai Thank you for putting him on my conversation. Thank you. This is a great man. Loving it being here again, Navaputra Valley has, uh, festival has grown with us and amazing and to see so many people coming in and participating and so many beautiful films being uh, showcased here. So thank you for bringing me back again. You know, when I have to uh, interview Papan, there's a lot of research I have to do, right? So as a journalist, when I go online and see whether he's done an interview before or not, the problem with YouTube is only songs and songs and songs and songs come. So I stopped my research midway because I was listening to all the lovely songs till very late last night. One thing, uh, you know, I have seen you personally one on one, but the moment you are on stage, you completely transform. Yeah, it's like there is somebody else when you're on stage. Is that a transformation or is that? an ingrained DNA that is there and you work on that? Uh, I can't work on the DNA, I guess. It just comes to if it is there. And I'm sure uh, there's something been passed on to me. That's why it, I sometimes believe I'm not sure if there's last life, not, etc. But I think there's something ancient in some of us and this is not of one life, whatever happened here. I can't have done this in 20 years, 25 years. It's like some DNA happening and that kind of, I get possessed on stage basically and uh, so to an extent where I keep saying that my my fans, my family, they are like really on the edge of the seat when I'm on stage because you don't even, never know what I'm going to say and they're like, please don't say anything now, you know, the media is going to take it. Check. And so, you know, so I get possessed and I come down from stage and I sometimes watch my video, I'm like, really, did I say that? Was that me? So, yeah, you become someone else, you're not this physical person on on stage, you were, you were something else, obviously. Okay, so if I ask you some of the most uncomfortable questions on some of the most, the latest controversies, you'll answer. Wow, <laughs> amazing, isn't it? Is that a request or a demand or an order? No, you're saying you're possessed. So say, I have to feel possessed, that's music. You cannot possess me. I, oh, no. For that, I'll have to go a long way. Okay. Uh, the other interesting thing is that, do you, did you guys know that Papon has fans in Serbia? How many of you all know about Serbia? Serbia, Montenegro, anybody here? Where is Serbia? European country, yeah? 
and they, I, I guess they don't really speak in English, Hindi to ab dur ki baat hai. But Papun has fans there, yeah. And uh, apparently, the one song that they loved and uh, wanted him to do an encore on because they wanted him to sing again was a Bihu song, which he did. Talk to us about the experience, but leave out the beautiful girls. <laughs> How do you know about this though? I'm really curious, like if this is out there, someone told you about the yeah, show. Yeah, it's right? out there. You just have to do good data mining, yeah? <laughs> Dangerous guys, yeah. Over it's... some spirits sometimes, you get good data. <laughs> High spirits. So yeah, so... <laughs> yeah, it's interesting. I went to Serbia. Kimane uh, Zane Nazano Serbia quote, right? Even I didn't know. When I went to Serbia, I was like... My geography is gone since school, right? Long time back. So I, I was like, okay, Google Maps. See, oh, that's Serbia. I remember, I remember, like that. So I reached Serbia and actually, to be honest, generally on the lighter side, nothing to do with films. Everybody on the street looks like supermodels in Serbia. Like, you know, they're so good looking, height and the way they dress and they don't speak English. You're like, wow, what is this? So where am I? So, you know, so we go there. Then you have a concert of 500 strong audience where there were two India, three Indians including the High commission, uh, Commissioner of India, Ambassador of India, and two Pakistanis. That's all. And everything else is Serbia sitting there. You don't know what to think. So I thought I will, you know, Bollywood, Momo, Kithage, Shah Rukh Khan, nothing going to work there, right? Namita Bachchan, they have no clue. All right, kya kya there? So I started stories. I get, uh, then after some time, I kind of got into my act, right? And then I talked about stories, life stories, and stories of human life, and which is the same everywhere, right? And they could understand English, whatever bit. And then we did this one and a half hour show of them not even knowing what Bollywood means. So nothing worked, only music worked, I think. And when we ended the show, they kind of like went on clapping. We were, we bowed, we went off the stage, they clapping, standing, clapping. We like then the director of the of the auditorium is saying, "That's an encore. You have to go back again." I'm like, "Yeah." I just did my best song, you know, which is Bihu, I made them dance and all. I said, nothing better than that. They said, go and repeat that. Go, go back. So you had to come back on stage, redo Bihu again for the audience. And they like went down clapping. So that was a, one of my most amazing experiences, I think. No, I just hope it's tuned. I just hope it's tuned. I also hope, but this is back to amazing. My school is gifts. Huh? After a very long I've seen Gibson. So I am, this is, camera is going there, so excuse me, I'm sorry, because I'm endorsed by Gibson, which is the American guitar company. So, but you have a cousin here in Assam called Gibson. So I'm sure you can excuse me if it is on camera. So can we shut the cameras off? We, we have to, no, it's all gone. We can't do anything. Sorry, Gibson, this is Gibson, though. It's very close to you. No, we can turn on the other side and tune it, yeah, while we talk. Let's, let's, yeah, let's play. Yeah. yeah, they care about your voice, huh? They don't mind, see. How am I going to do this? There's no mic. How, what, what can you hear? You can do a private session there if you want to. Trust me, I don't want a private session, yeah? yeah keep talking. Yeah. So the other lovely piece that is done and enthralled the uh, audiences worldwide, the reason I'm talking about Papon's international experiences is because most of you all know a lot about what he's done in India already, right? But what he's done internationally, and I always believed that music, you know, breaks borders, breaks barriers, brings people closer. And the other very exciting performance I heard was where he partnered with flamenco uh, guitar players of Spain. Have you heard Flamenco? It's, it's very vibrant, no? In that movie, uh, Zindagi Milena Dobara, you see some little bit of it where they play. So, that, that was one of the most beautiful performances I heard. How did you practice with them? They were comfortable with you? So, we went to uh, Spain. We went to a, a studio. Uh, and the, there was one guy who would speak in English. He'll tell us what they're going to do. Something like that. So I thought I might as well speak in Assamese only now. I'm like, what point? Is it? So I started with our beautiful words and all. So my friend who is also Assamese is like, why are you doing this? This camera and all. I'm like, okay, okay. So they send Assamese. And then obviously, so this is how we communicated. And uh, 
And it's amazing how after a point, even before the guy wants to translate what we're talking about, he already, the person, those musicians already knew. So that's the language of music. Like after a point, you know, that, okay, there's so many beats, so many skills, like, I want this, it'll wait, drop, you know, pick up. So those, like, that, those, those terminology, like music uh, as a language came in place. And it was really lovely an experience. I, mean, I was also skeptical how to go about this, but once that was done, so I got some confidence again that, okay, I can definitely go and work with musicians from across the world more. Maybe. So, so when they heard you singing, because you've got this very unique voice, when they heard you singing that song and when you worked with them, what was their experience like? I know you didn't understand what they were saying, but uh, by expression, they were like, oh, so, was it? Yeah. <laughs> so the guy said, the old man, he said, what the boss, what the boss, something like that he said, like he tried to say in English. So they liked the voice initially and then, then when I spoke the grammar language of music, they like, oh, so they know we can jam. And then we jammed so well that we went to them, we hung out, I stayed in Spain for a while. We hung out, we went to their local ghettos and we went to their clubs, they were playing two, three musicians, I would go party with them every night. So that close we became, so it was really nice. Yeah. Because Spain has a unique music scene, especially you go to La Ramblas in Barcelona and see the old cities and all, you know, every street you'll hear uh, different music. And apart from music, the, the other overpowering uh, thing is, uh, you know, the, the smell of food and an entire uh, uh, street smells only of chocolate because that's a chocolate street. Yeah, it's amazing. You went there? Yeah, like every, I went to all the, quite a few different cities and all the streets will have food, like, and all corners, food parts, you just walk, there's food and wine, food and wine. Like, so basically, they say, look, we to made our mother-in-law, we didn't have to do it. This is good, I think it's good, I don't know. It's quite interesting, Spain's really interesting. So what was your leaning right, you know, if you were here, like if wine was this side and food was this side, so would you like sway more on the wine side or more on the food side? Camera's off, please. <laughs> These guys, I don't answer that. <laughs> Why is this? Sir? I thought I was going to do some intellectual talk. It's a food. Who is this man? <laughs> Sorry, shall I be an intellect intellectual? I can't even pronounce it. Shall I? Shall I? Shall I go to the depths of my heart and ask you what the nation wants to know? Papa! What does the nation want to know from Papa? What does the nation want to know from Papa? I think he sh this journalism is gone back now. He's getting into films. He's showing, showcasing his talent now. Please, anybody filmmaker you watch, this is the man. Next, next film. Oh yeah, yeah, isn't it? When is your film coming? It. When is your next film coming? By the way, you told me not to talk about it, but then you have started the thing. Yeah, you are planning, working, a film, no? movie, yeah, acting. I don't know, singing, musical. That's been talked about. It's not coming out yet. It'll take some time, I think. I don't know, so yeah, Nagesh, I don't know, uh, he's gone now somewhere, so Nagesh and I are planning a movie, I'm supposed to act in it, and we're still planning it. So even last night we discussed, there's some issues, funds and all didn't work out on time, we didn't have dates, I was very busy, he said, he said, you guys are too busy, you should not be acting, I'm like, so why are they calling me for that? But hopefully that's happening soon. Okay, now as far as acting, I don't know, because mm -hmm. I haven't seen him act, but as far as the voice is concerned, he's almost like at the same level with Amitabh Bachchan, isn't it? Yeah, different, I mean, different. <laughs> so, yeah, the, the voice is there. You need to work on the acting, I guess, yeah? So, are you taking any acting lessons or you're just going to go and go with the flow and be possessed? So, when you act in a film, you don't act. You know, if, you, if you're acting in scene, then that's not acting, right? If you to say it, it's just to You just have to pretend you're someone else. That's what you do to your teachers, your mom, your dad. You learn acting anyway. Do you want to talk about the time when you used to be fascinated when you were a little kid and when you used to go to places where you're not supposed to be and used to be fascinated by women in makeup and you were so small? Do you want to talk about that a little bit and tell our audience your adventures of my goody days in Guwahati? <laughs> I don't know what to say to that. Uh, yeah, beautiful women, beautiful people definitely inspire. Nature, that is a part of nature, art appreciation, you know, all that. You guys know it all. I don't know why I'm asked these questions. 
Why me? No, so makeup is art. Yeah, it is an art form. Yeah, you have to know it very well. Shingar. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, my name Onga means uh, the art, uh, the process when a woman looks in a glass mirror and beautify herself, beautify herself with makeup. That's called Onga art. So there you are. So I can't do much about it. No, I thought for the longest time that meant something to do with the lion. You know. Because every time you're on stage with your mane, especially when his hair opens up, he does look like a lion, doesn't he? Sometimes, you know, a majestic lion. <laughs> and I thought there were only rhinos in Assam and a few tigers, so I we found one uh, lion. Uh, okay, thank you so much. No, I think it is a compliment. No, no. If you were to identify yourself with an animal, which animal will it be and why? Wow! <laughs> Amazing. Wonder what I'll be. I'd, I'd like to keep changing. Is that like one life only, right? I don't know what to do. Maybe a horse in the wire. Horse in the wire. Why you're taking the voice literally? <laughs> that is. <my> <laughs> oh, is it something else about the horse that you're excited about? I like horses. Yeah. <laughs> I like horses. I think you know. And then this uh, strangers in the mist. Right? That's a movie, right? That's about these horses who swim across. Brahmaputra and come and you know I like horses in the wild. They look really nice. I like basically I think I like to be stylish. Horses look stylish. <laughs> no, there are some horses uh, in Uttarakhand which are not so stylish. Also, I, there's a difference between an Arabian horse. That's a mule. He galat jage dekha hai. Dekh kisne dekha to koi gora gora hai gora. Kachare, kachare. Okay, <laughs> so there is a thin line between Khachar and Ghoda, yeah, but accept it, yeah. You never know. So you're walking down the street, I'm thinking you're a horse, somebody else might think you're a mule. So is it a good idea to be a horse? I don't know what to do this again, sorry. Okay, serious question. Serious question. I I'm, I'm forgetting my questions because you know you're laughing so much. Too much fun. Ha. Ah. Guitar tune me, wana, dada. We are waiting for guitar tune. It tune, jitna hoga ho chuka hai. Mera bhi tune nahi hai aaj. Kyu gawa rahe ho? But anyway. Okay, Papa. Sing let's, along. Okay, let's do this. Huh? Let's do this. I will point the section. So you start singing. Whichever section I point to, that section has to sing along with you. Yeah. So oh, I'll go like that. That section only, wow. Yeah, whichever section I point to, so that I feel powerful also. So I feel like the opera conductor. Yeah. <laughs> section two at the back. Start. Yeah. Section one. Start. Guys, be ready. Why are you looking behind? Come on, guys. Yeah, be ready to sing. Yeah? Everybody ready to sing? Yeah. So one, two, three, four, five, six. So we got six groups. Yeah. Can we do a sound check? One. Okay. When I point, just say yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. What is this? No energy. Come on. Yeah. One, two, three. सैनिक भाइयों के लिए कुछ गाने गाते हैं भाई साहब डोंट मेक एनी जोक अबाउट आर्मी एंटी नेशनल सैनिक वाले के लिए गाना गा रहे हैं कौन से कुछ भी मतलब है आपको बोला ना आपने देखा आपने बोला कैसे वो स्टाइल के ऊपर होगा ना देखो पापा ने आवाज को ब्रेकिंग न्यूज इनको एक्टिंग में डाल देंगे इनको शॉट सही बना रहे हैं आई थिंक ही नीड्स टू बी सीन आई हैड अच्छा ये मुझे मेरे को आना बन गया है तो क्या गाएंगे दी यार लेट्स जस्ट सिंग आई थिंक यार बोलते रहें बहुत हो गया है ना तो समथिंग विच सुबह गाए अकेले का गाओ बिकॉज़ दोपहर वैसे मान जो लाइन की गाना खा लेगा बनाओ बनाओ 
Ikea dua banyak ya? Because it's Brahmaputra Valley Film Festival, so I sing a song I sang long time back uh, about me and the river. So it's a very intimate song. If you know, sing along. Where is it? 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 Where is So this whole world of Facebook has become a world which is not really so true, okay? This world around me is beautiful. I always believe in that. You know? So it's not, the world is a much better place than what Facebook is trying to portray. There's a lot of intellectual garbage there. So don't take it seriously. Look at, it, look at your neighborhood. Look at your friends, your family. Everyone's beautiful. Nobody's having anybody. Be positive, please. This whole Facebook, Twitter. I ran away from Facebook now. Twitter to I don't know I and there is no line of who's coming from where. It's, it's so sad, you know. This whole digital space was supposed to be together and beautiful. It's just dividing people more. Yo? Yeah. Very deep there. Yeah. Says, says a man who's got one of the largest followings on Facebook and Twitter. But I feel you when you say, when you talk about the divide, yeah? I mean, there is a lot of divide. Uh, but then, I guess it also unites like-minded people and I'm glad that there are positive people who come out and there are, there are things happening. But yeah, you're right. So we should focus on that side. That's what I said, as you said. We have so many beautiful people. Let's do concrete things. Let's just connect. Let's share, you know. The rest is there. You know? There's rhyming also now, see. Yeah. Let's share. And the share. other thing is that, you know, he keeps interrupting me. I guess that's because... Uh, because of all the... Yeah, see? Because of Arnab Goswami, half of Assam thinks that they are Arnab Goswami. So they can interrupt just about anybody, yeah? <laughs> okay, on a serious note, um, your journey has been an incredible one. I know you've talked about inspiration here at different forums. What was that one thing that took you from here to Mumbai? And are you really enjoying playback singing, which has given you an added fame? Are you really enjoying it in Bollywood? Yeah, you, as you asked me, it seems like you felt I don't enjoy it. <laughs> that expression was there. But if I sing... That's all. <laughs> 
किंतु बाधे मन के मन से धागे बस चलेगा क्यों मेरा तेरे आगे तू मेरा मेरा क्या तू लागे See, just leave it clean. Is it that? And Indy? So I think I've been lucky that I've been chosen for fewer songs. And uh, in a way lucky because so that keeps me away from a lot of garbage I don't want to be part of. So people have been selective about what I've been given. And I've been lucky to be chosen for a few. I think that's why whatever I've sung, I really love singing. So. Momo. 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 Yeah, like Momo song. Yeah. Didn't do that Momo song. Yeah, I love that Momo song. Uh, Naughty festivals of Momo song. Yeah. Sing along then. It's easier for me. Right section. Which one is he going to sing louder? He's going to check you guys. <laughs> ये वो मोह के धागे तेरी उंगलियों से जाएंगे ये वो मोह के धागे तेरी उंगलियों से जाएंगे कोई तो है तो है ना धागे किस दर हागे हागे सुनजे है रोम रो एक तारा है रोम रो एक तारा जो बादलों में से गुजरे ये वो के धागे तेरों में से जाऊंगे कोई तो है जो लागे किस तू गजरा तूने मुझको है चुना तू गजरा तूने मुझको है चुना कैसे तूने लगा तूने लगा सब सुना तू गजरा तूने मुझको है चुना Thank you so much. It's all you can give him a hug. Oh, Navi, they are going to stay there. Thank you so much. Are you happy now? I like her uh, hair color. It's really nice. What I thought you said, I like her. Okay, we have uh, little yeah. time. I so think. question answers, question answers, question answers. If you want to sing to Papuan, keep it like two sentences because we don't have much time. Yeah. Mike, Mike, Mike. Yeah, yeah. No, I think it's loud. What? What inspired me to make the album? Thank you so much for liking. Kevin, thank you so much, really. So actually, honestly. Uh, I've been making whatever over the years, and from Janaki Rati till now. So I take a long time to produce an album. I mean, you can get melodies, you can get lyrics, but to produce a whole album, there has to be there has to be a concept where that what is this album about, right? I mean, you can every day make a song. So I take long time to kind of uh, figure that purpose behind. I think story now for me is. Actually, the story now, as in, how do I perceive music now? 
how do I listen to music now, what kind of music I listen to. And the production of the sound, I keep telling that, you know, Ahomia music, or, you know, you have to bring that, or even everything, films, anything we do in a sound, music. The level of production has to be today also. And again, when you sit in, if you're sitting in Slovakia or somewhere, Googling three songs, one from Brazil, one from Assam, one from, suppose, New Zealand, it, the production level has to be somewhere today. It's, it should sound 2017. So my idea was to bring that kind of modern sound mixing also to songwriting. So that was the prime thing about my album. You will charge you money for the second question. <laughs> money. एक ही मिलेगा ना और को भी चांस वो बाद में पूछ लेंगे। I think time is not there, sir. Yeah, one question. Sorry, yeah. Namaskar, Papanda. Gaurav here. It's very nice to have you here once again. I will charge you also. You always ask too many questions. Ask, yes, Gaurav. Ask. Because firstly, I am your fan. Secondly, I am your fan because journalism has always been my cup of tea. So, I'm joking, thank you. So my question. But it's changing the field. It's going to change, right? You know it. It's interesting. Uh, Papanda, my question might be, to some extent, it might be controversial. Oh, wow. uh, Amazing. My question is that... Bring it on. Being in the forefront of Assam, you and Zubinda have always attracted the youth. Zubinda has recently made a movie, Mission China, and it has attracted a large number of audience. Even in Namami Brahmaputra, we have seen that you and Zubinda have taken the lead, uh, lead singer roles. So, are there any plannings to make a movie just like Mission China on your part? This is not controversial at all. I was expecting more controversy from you. <laughs> but you let him out easy. Okay, answer yeah, easy question. Um, why like Mission China? I could make a film someday if I, you know, come up to that point where I'm ready to make a film. I would love to. I acted a long time back in one of the veterans, Gautam Bora's uh, serial ones, and he really is. Uh, encourage me about what, how I acted. So I'm saying I do, if not like any particular movie, but maybe I'll do a movie. As we spoke, Nagesh and I'm thinking about a movie. So I don't have a plan to do anything. 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 Hobo, hobo. What's that? Hobo. I think hobo will make it. Next question. Do you have time? Okay. I have time out. Last question. Hi, Papanda. This is Tuti Goswami. My question was when... This is Tuti Goswami. I just tell my name. You thought I'm Tuti Goswami. Yeah? It's Tuti Goswami. Anyway, my question is, when did we get to hear Papan's Ghazal album? Oh, wow. Amazing. So, um, unofficially, officially, I am almost sitting on the album now. I've got three songs already going, and I don't want to name it, but one of the one of one of the British poets of today's times is writing the album. That's something I am very feeling very blessed about. Guzar, not a question. I hope. Jamil yeah. Doctor. When the album comes out, I hope I can get an autographed album from you. Oh, right. that'll be an honor, sir. Thank you. Please be in contact with me. Eh? I'll, I'll, give, I'll get it autographed and yeah, give it to you. He's coming up with a uh, with a web thing with journalism, new one for Northeast. So where the news I got early. But promote the album. Not really. Uh, see, it's, it's uh, the poetry and everything is right there for me, so I don't have it very clearly in my head also. So I just got three poems right, not the melody yet right, sir. Yeah. So, so with that, we come to the end of this uh, uh, short interaction. We'd love to go on. Uh, I just want to say thank you very much, Papon. Thank you, wonderful audience. Uh, and in the end, I want to say I love uh, Papon, but I, I guess uh, I just want to say with everybody, and we all can say it together that we love you and keep doing the good work, yeah? So we'll say it together, one, two, three. We love you, Papa, and keep doing the fantastic work that you do. Thank you.